Praise the Lord, guys. God bless you all. In the mighty name of Jesus, all who are watching this video. Uh, today we're in Bellingham, Washington. It is, what day is it today? The 21st, 22nd? 22nd. 22nd. Today is the 22nd. Saturday. 22nd of May. Uh, it's Saturday, year 2015. Uh, I'm not even keeping up with the dates anymore because it's just preaching, preaching, preaching every day. I don't even remember what date it is. But uh, yes, uh, you know, the Lord brought us here today to go and preach the gospel, and that's what we're going to do. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, we uh, pray for protection and favor with the police, and that uh, we hope that everything goes well. We trust in the Lord, and we know that uh, He'll protect us on, on our way there. So uh, that's what we're about to do right now. God bless you guys. Is approaching. Seek the Lord while he still may be found and call upon him while he is here. Let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts. The reason why you need to be saved today, ladies and gentlemen, is because you have sinned against the holy God in heaven, the holy one of Israel. God has a commandment, his commandments, he has his law, he is the king of kings, he is the Lord of lords. You have broken his law. You have broken his commandments. No one taught you how to lie, curse, steal, cheat, hate, break God's law. You were born with a sinful nation. And Jesus said in John chapter 3, verse 3 of the Bible, that you must be born again in order to see the kingdom of God. Friends, you do not get saved by going to church every Sunday. You do not get saved by believing in your mind that there's a God. Because the Word of God says that even the devil believes and he trembles before him. You must repent of your sins. Turn away from your wickedness. And come to the one true God, Jesus Christ. He is the way, He is the truth, and He is the life. No man comes to the Father unless it is through the Son. Seek Him and live today. Do not die in your sins. We all have an appointment with death one day. The Word of God says, for we all stand before the judgment seat of Christ, and we, we're going to give an account for every good and every evil thing we've done in our life. And if our name is not written in the last book of life, we'll perish for an eternity in the lake of fire. God is commanding you today to amend your ways, to turn from your sin before you burn the lake of fire. Heed this warning today, ladies and gentlemen. This is not a joke. This is not a game. This is reality. Where will you go after you die? Come to Jesus Christ today and live. For He is the only way, He is the truth, and He is the life. God bless you guys. Okay, guys. We're going to get started right now. John, you're going to stay 20 feet behind me, okay? And you can stop preaching, okay? The Lord, the Lord will put the words in your mouth. And you preach, you stay with my To the Lord Jesus Christ today, time is running out. Judgment day is approaching. Friends, seek the Lord while he still may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him come to our Lord, for he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Friends, the reason why you need to be saved is because you have sinned against the holy God in heaven. You have offended God with your actions, your words, and your thoughts. The Word of God says that the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. Friends, in reality we all deserve to go to hell because we're all sinners. We have all sinned against this holy God in thought and word and deed. But God by His grace sent His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross to save sinners, to save you and I who would repent and put our faith in the one true God. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. No man comes to the Father unless it is through the Son. 
Jesus said that you must be born again in order to see the kingdom of God. That you've turned away from sin. That you no longer want to live in sin but do the will of God. The word of God says in Matthew 7, verse 21, Many on that day will say to me, Lord, Lord, have we not done many wonders in your name? Have we not cast out demons in your name? In your name, prophesy. And Jesus, on his throne, when he judges everyone, he will say to those people, Depart from me. I never knew you. Friends, I hope that is not you on Judgment Day. I hope you know where you're going after you die. Because the Bible says there's only two ways. Heaven or hell. Friends, we'd all like to wish that when someone dies, they rest in peace. But if we do not have the Prince of Peace in our hearts when we die, Jesus Christ, there is no rest in peace. There is no peace for the wicked, says the Bible. The wages of sin is death. God hates sin. God hates sin because He is holy. God hates evil because He is good. Amen. And He commands us to turn, to forsake our evil ways today. Because if we die in our sins, the Word of God says that the wages of sin is death. In other words, the price for your life, the price for you blaspheming God's name, the price for you disobeying your parents, the price for breaking God's holy law is death. You must turn from your sins today and get right with the one true God. Jesus is coming soon. Are you right with God today, ladies and gentlemen? You must turn away from your wickedness. You must turn away from your lying. You must turn away from your cursing and bitterness towards God. You must turn away from your anarchy and rebellion towards God. You must surrender and give your life to Jesus Christ today. Friends, there is only one way, one truth and one life, and that is in Jesus. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. If you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, then you do not have the way... You do not have the truth and you do not have life in you. You are dead spiritually. You have ears but you cannot hear. You have eyes but you cannot see. Your heart is hard and you cannot understand the things of God. But the Word of God says if you repent and cry out to God for mercy and saving faith, He will grant you repentance. For God does not reject a humble and contrite spirit. He does not reject a humble and contrite spirit. Humble yourself before mighty God today. Turn from your evil ways. Do not be deceived. What you sow in the flesh, you shall also reap. Friends, none of you will ever forget this day. None of you will ever forget the signs and the messages and the preachers. God will never let you forget it. See, God has given you a conscience to know right from wrong. Con science with knowledge. God has given you the knowledge of good and evil. And you know that you have sinned against God. You know you are guilty, but you love your sin. Friends, I tell you that if you keep on loving your sin till you die, you're going to perish in hell for an eternity. But it is not God's will for you to die in your sins and go to hell. He's offering you today the free gift of eternal life, which is only found in Jesus Christ our Lord. Hallelujah. If you would just come to Him, if you would just repent and humble yourself before God and seek Him while He still may be found, there is mercy and there is grace, there is hope and there is forgiveness for you. But if you continue to live in your sin, if you try to puff out your chest and say you don't need God, friends, God rejects the proud, but He gives grace to the humble. Humble yourself before God today. Repent of your sins. Repentance means to turn away from sin. Turn away from your evil, wicked ways. The Bible says that God hates sin. He hates sin. God is holy. God is good. And that is why He hates evil. And you and I are evil. Friends, we offend God with our actions, our words, and our thoughts. Yes, friends, God knows your thoughts. He knows your heart. The Word of God says that the heart is deceitful above all things. Who can know it? I, says the Lord, I know the heart. And I know the minds. God knows what you were thinking about last night. God knows what you're thinking about right now. Friends, you have sinned against God so many times that you cannot even number it on a calculator. 
You have, your sins are so disgusting that you can't even tell your best friend. That's how vile and evil and wicked the human race is towards God. And the Bible says that if we do not repent, we will all likewise perish. Friends, God hates sin. He hates wickedness. He doesn't have to save anybody. He's still God alone. He doesn't need the world. He is still king. He is still God. But you need him. Because if you die without him, you perish. Jesus is the king of kings. He is the Lord of his own. Friends, you're not saved. Because a real Christian, the Bible says, abhors sin. A real Christian will love what God loves and hate what God hates. And God hates sin. You who profess to know God. The question is for you today, do you hate sin? Are you living your life to glorify God? In Matthew 7, 21, it says, Many on that day will say to me, Lord, Lord, have we not done many wonders in your name? Have we not cast out demons in your name? Have we not prophesied in your name? And then he shall say to them, Depart from me, I never knew you. Friends, time is running out. Judgment day is approaching. Seek the Lord while he still may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him come to our Lord for he will have mercy upon him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. Friends, the time is now. Today is the day of salvation. Repent of your sins and be reconciled to God. Come to the Lord Jesus Christ today and give it over. seek Him while He still may be found. Call upon Him while He is near. Turn before you burn. Repent before you perish. Time is now, friends. Judgment day is approaching. We all have an appointment with death one day, friends. Where will you go after you die? There's only two ways, heaven or hell. Enter ye by the narrow gate, for broad is the way that leadeth unto destruction, but narrow is the path that leads to eternal life. And only few find it. Are you that you if you do not turn from your sin, if you do not repent, you will all likewise perish. Seek him while he still may be found. Turn away from your wickedness, from your sin, because he hates it. God is holy. God is good. God is righteous. He hates unrighteousness. He hates evil. He hates darkness because he is light. Friends, God is exposing light on many people's dark hearts today. But if you would humble yourself before God, my friend, you who are listening, you who have ears to hear, hear the word of God. Come to Jesus Christ and live. Repent and believe in the one true God. Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, is because you have sinned against the Holy God. You have broken His commandments. You have lied, you have cursed, you have stolen. You have committed murder in your heart. Jesus said if you hate someone, you commit murder in your heart. Jesus said if you look after someone with lust, you commit adultery in your heart. Friends, we are all guilty before the Lord God Almighty. The Word of God says, for there is none righteous, no, not one. All have fallen short of the glory of God. We have fallen short of God's glory as a human race. Adam and Eve sin, and so sin entered the world and death through all men. Friends, Adam and Eve disobeyed God and sin entered the world. And that is why you sin. You are born into this sinful world. You are born with a sinful nature. Your heart is inclined to do evil. No one taught you. Think about it, friends. Open your ears today. Open your hearts. No one taught you how to lie. Your parents didn't sit you down and say, today we're going to teach you how to lie. Today we're going to teach you how to hate. Today we're going to teach you how to curse and how to steal. No, friends. You have broken God's law because naturally you are evil. Your parents taught you to do good because you are evil. Friends, Jesus said that you need a new nature. You need a new heart. Amen. Come to Jesus. Seek the Lord and live. Let's he break out like a fire. Come to the Lord.
Lord Jesus Christ today. Take care, man. Amend your ways and care. believe in the one true God we today. Find peace. Jesus. We find some peace. Jesus. Jesus died on the cross to save sinners. Friends, many of you have seen the cross many, 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 many times, but you have no idea what it means. I want you to know that God hates okay. sin. No, thank you. I have he abhors wickedness because he is right, because and he is good. For all of you. you are thank not you, good. We are not good. No one is good except God. But Jesus Christ became the only sacrifice for sin. Jesus Christ willingly gave his life out of love. Willingly. Nobody made him do it. Jesus gave his life out of pure mercy and pure grace. He died on the cross to save all who would repent and believe on his name. Friends, Jesus got spat upon. Jesus had a crown of thorns put upon his head. Jesus was beaten. He had his beard pulled. They put, they put a hole in his side. They speared him in his ribs. They put in nails in both of his hands and his feet. And they hung him on the old rugged cross. They whipped him on his back. They treated him like garbage. Friends, Jesus died the death that you and I deserve to die. Jesus took on the full wrath of God. See, friends, if Jesus Christ never died, we'd all go to hell. But Jesus Christ did die. So there is hope for your sins. But you must turn from your evil ways today, friends. You don't know where will you go after you die. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow or next week or next year, friends. You could probably not wake up tomorrow. You hey, could probably leave hey. this. Can you turn the volume down? Please. We're trying to do it. The Lord of God said that your life is nothing but a vapor. Here, one second, and gone the next. Friends, where will you go? Are you right with God today? Turn from your evil ways. Repent of your sins. Repentance means to turn from sin. Have you turned from your sin yet? Come to Jesus. Friends, don't try to justify your wickedness. Don't try to justify what you have done against God. Friends, the only just the only way. Jesus is the truth. And Jesus is the life. Repent of your sins today and be reconciled to the one true God, Jesus Christ. So, here's the deal, guys. Okay, first of all, you're, uh, you're on the parade route. It's supposed to be clear. Okay. Okay. The other thing is uh, the megaphones. Yes, sir. The ordinance says you can't be using the uh, amplified. Really? It's over 50 feet. It's like a car stereo, right? Okay. But, but isn't it about to be like super loud right now when the parade is going? Like, you no, know, this is amplified. Whereas, you know, a marching band is not so they had some guy doing a Jimi Hendrix electric guitar thing. There you go, that'd be different. Yeah, there's people playing so football. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I got no place to put this, so you go ahead and hand that out to somebody else. Well, I mean, we're just, we parked all the way down at the end over there. We're heading our way back right now. Okay, you got your and so, uh, you know, we're not going to preach full blast uh, like we did. We're just going to keep it down for a little bit. But we're going to head on that way, and we'll be on our way home. Hi. Hi. How you I'm doing? Sergeant Lanham with the Bellingham Police Department. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Michael. you. Okay. The Chamber of Commerce has permit for the roadway. Okay. Do you have a permit with him to be on the roadway doing what you do? Uh, no, yes no, I had no idea. Okay. The other thing is, is that we also have a noise ordinance. Okay. The DC devices can't move the feet. Okay. And it's much louder than that, so we have to have to stop doing that or actually step over. Oh, I've already found you. Uh, so, so you said a uh, noise ordinance at 50 feet. So how far away do we have to be away 50 feet from the Well, I can hear you all the way down there. That's a long way. So 50 feet, what I want you to do now is go to step over the sidewalk part okay. and I uh, appreciate you stealing over there. If okay, we, so, okay, if we so step, we, we can preach on the sidewalk, right? As long as that thing can't be over 50 feet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, okay. I got you. Sure, fair enough. Okay. okay yeah. yeah you guys understand no problem. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you, do you mind if we just like on the no, side? Sidewalk. Sidewalk. Gotta be off the street. On the sidewalk. The street's getting away, and we hit the sign. Okay. On the sidewalk for me, please. Thank you. Okay. Guys. Have a good one, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, come to Jesus. Okay. Seek the Lord Jesus. He's the only way, the truth, and the life. You gotta go this way, baby. Turn it down there, preach. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this way. Thank you. Oh, thank you, guys. Oh, God bless you. Have a good day. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Have a good day.
Yeah. Yeah. Come to Jesus. He's the only way. The truth and the yeah, life. The way, yeah. Guys, turn to the Lord Jesus Christ today. Repent of your sins and get right with God. Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth and I am the life. No man comes to the Father unless it is through the Son. Seek the Lord Jesus Christ today and amen. Yeah, it's Come cool. and taste and see that the Lord is good. Come to Jesus Christ today. Repent of your sins and believe in the gospel of the one true God, Jesus Christ. Jesus died on the cross to save sinners. The Word of God says if you do not repent, you will all likewise perish. Come and taste and see that the Lord is good. Repent and believe in the gospel. For there's a way that seems right to a man, but that way leads unto death. Friends, do not lean upon your own understanding. Do not try to be wise in your own eyes. Do not trust in your own heart. Because the word of God says that the heart is the sequel above all things. Who can know it? I know the heart, and I test the mind, says the Lord. You must turn from your evil ways today. Repent and get right with God before it is too late. Jesus is coming soon. Are you right with Him, friends? Get right with God. God commands mankind everywhere to repent and to turn from their sin unto Jesus Christ. Friends, believe on the Lord Jesus and you shall be saved. Turn before you burn. Be reconciled to God. God does not take pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that sinners should come to repentance. Friends, seek the Lord and live today. Repent of your sins and deal right with God. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. It is time to get right with God, ladies and gentlemen. Time for the Lord Jesus Christ today. But there's a way that seems right to a man. For that way leads unto death. Friends, Jesus died on the cross to save sinners. If you do not repent, the Bible says you will all likewise perish. God does not take pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that all should come to repentance. Seek the Lord, lest you break out like a fire. God is love, friends. Yes, He is. But the Word of God says that He is also an all-consuming fire. It consumes wickedness. It consumes sin. Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the truth. And Jesus is the life. Are you right with God today, friends? Have you been born again? That is life. That is life's greatest question. Have you been born again? Are you made new in Jesus? Do you have a new heart yet? Have you, has your life changed? The evidence that you know that, you, that you're saved and that God has changed your life. He's changed your heart. He's taken out the heart of stone and put in a heart of flesh that loves Him and obeys Him. Jesus said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. I do. Hey, you can ask to stay off the parade route, so you're more than welcome to get off the parade route. This is the whole street, so you get up on the sidewalk, and you're okay. But you can't be on the direct parade. But there's some the people actually the walking here. What's that? There's, there's some people actually walking on the sidewalk. This, this is people that are spectators. They're not, they, they're not, they're not here protesting or, or you're not protesting, but you know, sending a message. If you're going to be a spectator, yeah, you can be here, but otherwise you got to, you got to be on the sidewalk if you're going to be. Here.
time to get right with God. Turn from your evil ways today. Repent of your sins and get right with the one true God, Jesus Christ. Jesus said you must be born again in order to see the kingdom of God. If you do not repent, you will all likewise perish. Seek the Lord while you still may be found and come upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his ways. And the unrighteous man is not. Turn before you burn. You're right with Jesus. Where will you go after you die, friend? We all have an appointment with death. It is time to get right with God today through the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus died on the cross to save sinners. Turn to Jesus and live today. A man's race to be reconciled to God. Only Jesus saved. Jesus Christ is the only hope to eternal salvation. Are you right with God? Do you know you're going to heaven, friends? Come to Jesus. The evidence that you know that you're saved is that God has done a supernatural work in your heart. He has changed and made you a brand new person. That loves Jesus and keeps his commandments. Jesus said, if you love me, you keep my commandments. Do you say you love Jesus and still lie? Do you say you love Jesus and still curse? Do you say you love Jesus and still steal? Friends, it's time to get right with God today. Repent of your and believe in the gospel. Repent of your sins and be reconciled to God. Get right with God today, ladies and gentlemen. Repent of your sins and be reconciled to God. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes to the Father unless it is through the Son. 
I bet the way. We bet that you're saying that you're right with God. There's the reason why you need to be saved is because you sin against the Holy God. And the way that you sin is death. If you die without the Lord Jesus, if you die in your sins, you have to pay the blood. That is eternal fire. First death is in your body, friend. The second death is under the fire. If you come to Jesus, you die once here on earth and you live forever in eternity, worshiping the glory of God. And so life is all about knowing God, ladies and gentlemen. It's all about knowing God, not knowing about God. It doesn't matter if you know the president, you still can't get in the White House. You got it. The president needs to know you if you want to get in. Does God know you? Are you his son? Are you his daughter? Are you going to make it in? Come to Jesus. Seek the Lord of man. Let you break out like a fire. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man is thought. Come to Jesus and live. Jesus is your only hope. Are you in Christ or are you out of Christ? Are you living in darkness or are you living in light? Come to Jesus. We're right with God today. Are you right with God? Time is running out. Time is running out. approaching. Many of you guys think you're going to live on for many, many years. Oh, no, friends. You're going to die one day. God's going to take your life and you're going to stand before him. And he's going to judge you for every action, every word, and every thought you've committed against him. And if you name the Bible says, now you can do the Lamb's book of life. He will cast you in the in the lake of fire. I am the vine, you are the branches, said Jesus. If you do not produce fruit, if you're not bearing good fruit, then you'll be thinned down, you'll be cut down and tossed into fire. Come to Christ. Come and taste and see that the Lord is good. Present is a loving warning today. If you saw a stranger running across the street, they saw a car going 100 miles per hour, and you know that he's going to get hit and die, you'd yell at the too. You'd tell to get out of the way because you don't want to die. And that's what we're doing today, friends. Many of you walk in the broad way that leads to destruction, hellfire, and we're warning you. We have these big signs, we got these big horns to tell you to get right with God because you're going to get destroyed. Get right with God today. Repent and turn to Jesus Christ because He is the only way. He is the truth and He is the life. Seek Him and live today. Put your faith in the one true God, Jesus, the King of Kings. The Lord of Lords, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Seek the Lord and live today. Turn from your sins to be right inside of God. Jesus died on the cross to save sinners. Sound the trumpets, for he is near. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. You've all been warned today. None of you will have an excuse on judgment day, whether you like it or not. Be right inside of God. Because we have a horn, but the parade is going to be much more louder than this parade. They're not going to get mad. They're going to be screaming and jumping to drugs. What did you say? I said that they get mad when we preach about Jesus on a horn, but it's about time to pray and jump throwing their ears. Lord, God is offering you today, friends, everlasting life. Only found in Jesus. Jesus is a good thing. Just take the sidewalk now. I'll raise up to start. So that way, I mean... I think we're actually going to stop. Can you guys stop that thing you want me to preach? Yeah. Well, that's, not, that's not what happened. See, friends, God <laughs> died on the cross. Jesus, the God man, gave his life to save you from your sins. Jesus is your only hope to be saved from hellfire, to pay the price of your own sin. Friends, if you don't get right with God today, you're all going to perish. This is just a loving warning, friends. If you saw someone who's about to cross the street, get hit by a car, you'd yell and scream, hey, get out of the way, that's what we're doing to you today. Death is coming for you. You're going to see God one day, you're going to be judged before him. And if you want to quote Tupac, if the only God can judge you, yes, God is going to judge you, and you better be afraid. Because once God judges you, his judgment is final. Can you speak Hebrew? No. You shall perish, friends, if your name is now found written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Friends, we do this all out of love. We don't thank for God, but we love you. 
And that is why we tell you to align with God today. Repent of your sin. Turn from your evil ways and your life with the one true God, Jesus Christ. He is the way, He is the truth, and He is the life. If you do not know Jesus, you do not have the way. You do not have truth, and you do not have life in you. You are dead spiritually. Jesus Christ must bring you to life. That's why the Word of God says, Awake you who sleep, arise, and Christ will give you life. Friends, if you could not last five seconds with real fire here on earth, you would not last five seconds. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Even when you know sin, you became sin for us. This is a warning. Get right with Jesus today. We're pleading with you today. Get right with God. Seek Him and live. Do not die in your sin. Bitch. Young people, you have disobeyed your parents before. God said not to disobey your parents. They may live longer on us. Every time you disobey your parents, you're losing your life. When we broke God's law, we have sinned against God. If we don't repent, if we don't confess our sins, if we don't humble ourselves before God, we will all perish. God, Jesus Christ, is offering you the free gift of salvation today. If you repent of him, if you repent of you, humble yourself before God, if you confess your sins, he is just and faithful to forgive you of all your sins. But you must turn. You must turn from your evil ways. You must stop sinning and get right with Jesus. Seek the Lord and live today. Only Jesus saves. Repent and believe in the gospel. Hallelujah. They're, wait, they're waiting for the prayer, but they're not going to leave. He is love. Yes, he is. No doubt about it. He is also an offering to fire. And you better get right with him today. Turn to Jesus and live. Repent and be right inside of God. Turn to Jesus. Seek the Lord and live. Let's see, break out your fire. I have Jesus. I have life. He is the way, the truth, and the life. You have Jesus. You have life. Come to Jesus. Jesus is life, friends. Jesus is the meaning of life. Jesus is everything. If you do not know Jesus, you don't know anything. You don't know life yet. Jesus is life. Jesus is the way. Jesus is truth. Come to Jesus. Come and taste and see that the Lord is good. Friends, God is so kind enough today to warn you. To warn you. To warn you from your sins and turn from your evil ways. You're right with God today. Repent. Turn to Jesus. Seek the Lord and live. Amen your ways. You're right with God. He's coming soon. Time is short, friends. Judgment day is approaching. We all have an appointment with death. Where are you going to go after you die? Repent and believe in the gospel. Thank you.